Hey everyone, my name is Brian. I'm an extern here at um, Hearing and Brain Centers of America. Right now I'm at our St. George location. What I wanna do in this video is just give you a little bit about my story and how I went from student of audiology to doctor of audiology. Now with that, I also went from zero to hero. Let me share what I mean. So I come from Massachusetts. I went to a small state school in Massachusetts. Actually had the great honor of having Dr. Keith Darrow, um, the Harvard and MIT trained neuroscientist that helped come up with, with our clinic and our program as my undergraduate professor. And so I bring that up and uh, I really, I, I took a few of his classes and I actually failed a few of them. And he gets a kick out of that every time we, we talk about it. Now, I retook some of his classes and, and, you know, passed them with A's, went on to go to graduate school to expand my education and become a clinical audiologist. Now, in grad school, you know, I learned the didactic knowledge that I needed to about the ear and the anatomy of the ear, all that good stuff, right? However, what I uh, did not enjoy and where school and the field of audiology, quite frankly, is, is lacking is in the clinical rotations and the clinical sites. During my experience going on to those clinical sites, I felt like it was more of a churn and burn. Um, you know, let me test your hearing and here, pick a color of a hearing aid. It wasn't really about forming that emotional connection and really treating patients as they need to and want to be treated. And so I was kind of discouraged, honestly. I'd come out of clinic sometimes and, and say to myself, what am I doing in this field? I'm not making an impact. At my externship here, and um, you know, I'm gonna be working here after I finish my externship, but what I've really learned is how to build that relationship, how to really treat patients, how to educate patients the way that they need to be. And all that has been achieved through my teammates here with the encouragement from them, with the mentorship from them, with the leadership from them. And what I want to do is, is tell you about uh, my time here and what I've been able to accomplish, you know, going from kid who failed these classes to extern and doctor of audiology. So my first week here, I was actually able to change five patients' lives, right? I was able to treat five patients, build that emotional connection with them. My first four months here, I was actually able to change 37 lives. And from a new provider, that's, that's the most um, in the history of the company. Again, I don't say this in a braggadocious way. I say this because if you really wanna change your trajectory in the field of audiology, it's possible. January 11th, I had my first patient symposium where I was able to expand my impact um, outside of the clinic. I was able to go and educate at some offsite places and treated a few patients from that as well. And also what I'm working on now is writing a book, um, sharing my experience, you know, going from student to doctor of audiology and what that's like and what it's like to work at the hearing and brain centers. So why do I say all this? I say this because, you know, I love working here. It's really changed my life personally uh, and professionally, of course, but you can do this, right? If you're not satisfied with, with the path that you're going on in the field of audiology as it is right now, you need to come here and you need to work for hearing and brain centers to change the trajectory of your career and ultimately your life. That's a little bit about my story. Hope to see you here.